If you're looking for a Bluetooth mouse for your Apple computer, then the Magic Trackpad and the Apple Magic Mouse are two great options. But the way you use them and charge them and some of the features with them are quite different. So in this video, I'm gonna help you decide if you should get the Magic Trackpad or the Apple Magic Mouse. Both of these use USB-C, but with the Magic Trackpad, you can use it while it's plugged in because the port is on the back of it. With the Magic Mouse, the port is on the bottom of it. And you also pair these both to your computer using a USB-C cord, which is very easy. You just plug it in, turn it on, and your computer will very quickly recognize it. Both of these also have no physical scroll buttons on them. With the Magic Mouse, there's a left click and a right click, and you actually have to get into your computer to enable right click, which they actually call secondary click on the Mac. With the Magic Trackpad, there's no actual physical click. It has a haptic engine built into it, which uses your computer and gives you some feedback with it. And you can change the clicking from a quiet or a louder click. And this one also supports multi-finger clicking and gestures as well. And you can also change the secondary click on this between using the right corner, the left corner, or also using a two finger tap on it as well to use the secondary click. Another difference is how you actually interact with these. So the mouse, of course, you're gonna move your wrist around to move your pointer. And with the Magic Trackpad, you just use a single finger to move the pointer around. Also, neither of these have a physical scroll button. So on the Magic Mouse, you just move your index finger across the mouse and that acts as your scroll. With the Magic Trackpad, you use two fingers to scroll. Both of these are pretty thin and you might think the Magic Trackpad is way bigger, but in reality, the Magic Trackpad just sits in one spot and you actually can move your fingers around to use it. You might have a little bit of wrist movement with this one, but I find with the Magic Mouse, you are gonna move it across a larger surface area than the Magic Trackpad. I found personally the Magic Mouse gave me more hand cramps because of how low it has your wrist sitting. With the Magic Trackpad, you can kind of elevate your wrist, which to me is a little bit more comfortable than that of the Magic Mouse. And you can also do things like changing between apps using two fingers on it, which is really cool if you're using full screen apps. And with the Magic Trackpad, it's really just a large touch surface, which allows for more gestures, including pinch to zoom, a three finger drag, or you can also activate Launchpad or Notification Center with different gestures as well. Some people say the Magic Mouse is not very accurate, but to me, I've used it for video editing and for photo editing for years and found it to be plenty accurate. But I did find the scrolling on the Magic Trackpad to feel a little bit more smooth. But you might prefer the Magic Mouse for some more specific tasks where you need to be able to just barely move the cursor. Whereas with the Magic Trackpad, you're gonna be using your finger and then clicking as well, which might not be quite as accurate as being able to move your wrist and then click with the Magic Mouse. The Magic Mouse typically comes in at $80 for the white version or $100 for the black version. And the Magic Trackpad comes in at $130 for the white version and $150 for the black version. So you're gonna spend a little bit more money if you wanna get the Magic Trackpad than you would be spending if you were just gonna get the Magic Mouse. If you're trying to decide between the two of these, the main thing you really need to decide is what's your preference. Do you prefer the wrist movement for the mouse or the finger gestures of the trackpad? To me, I find both of them feel pretty accurate, but the Magic Trackpad does have more gestures that are available, is a little bit more comfortable to use, and you can also use it while charging. Really, to me, the only area where the Magic Mouse beats the Magic Trackpad is if you prefer that traditional style of mouse feel with moving your wrist around to move your cursor. And if you don't need to choose just one, then you might find yourself really liking using both of them in your desktop setup. Some people really like to put the trackpad on the left side of the keyboard and the mouse on the right side, or I also find people who put them both on the right side, and they go back and forth throughout the day using the Magic Mouse for some tasks and the Magic Trackpad for other tasks, because the Magic Trackpad, to me, is a more enjoyable device to use for just browsing the web doing basic productivity tasks, the Magic Mouse is better when you want the more precise mouse movements. So which would you choose? The Magic Trackpad, Magic Mouse, both of them? Let me know in the comments what your preference is and like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.